but here we go, bookmaking time. Now I'm gonna do step by step. I'm gonna run through it. It's gonna be slow and fast at the same time. I will be reviewing this in front of the camera on Monday morning or whenever it happens, probably Monday. So we are making a Japanese method of bookmaking. Here are two examples. This was done by a student of ours. There's no name on it. Okay, so we're using a cardboard from the calendars, cut paper, punch holes in the wood, in the wood, in the cardboard, and string. You decorate your front cover inside and back any way you wish. Excuse me. Now, here's another one. I made it. I love trees, you all know that. Okay, so here's the book. Cardboard, front, inside cover, flowers. That's Van Gogh. Here you go. Okay, and then I made thin paper because it's watercolor paper, I'm gonna make paintings. It's very, very simple. It does not take long to create, okay? And some of you I know have done it. So, push these to the sides. Now, you have to have a clean area. Wherever you're working and making art, make your area clear, okay? You, I put in the bag two pieces of cardboard from the calendars, okay? So you put them on top of each other and make sure they're even. You don't want one bigger than the other. You might have to cut, okay? A hole puncher. There are different kinds of hole punchers. There's the three one. There's a two one. There's a single. And there's probably many more that I don't know about. Okay, so you're going to take your cardboard and I use the two one because my hands, it was hard to push this down. So I put, the cardboard in here and punch down, okay? And I did it here. Now, if you wanna make more holes, you can. Anything you wanna do is okay, as long as it comes out looking like the Japanese method of a book, okay? Now your paper. Your paper is a little tedious. So I took white paper that I sent home with you. I ripped it. I ripped it, because I wanna have that edge I don't want it to be exact. I want it to be rough because I'm gonna paint on some pages like watercolor. And so I wanted, a, I wanted a rough edge, okay? And so then I put my two boards on top of each other and I traced the holes that I had made here just to give me a guide. And then I took the paper and put it in here. Sorry, wrong way. All right, and punch down. Now I didn't do all of it, I'm just doing this to simplify, make it easier for you. Now to put the book together. So I'm opening up the book. Okay, now let me tell you something. Don't make a mistake like I did, go to the edge so then there's no hole. Okay, so you have to be careful, be aware of what you're doing. So I could have put my paper like this and spend time cutting paper, but I don't want to. So I measured my holes here. They measure somewhere, okay. And now, I'm, oh, did I forget scissors? Sorry, just one moment. We got scissors right here. Thank you. Now, there's two ways to string your books. You put this on top, you have it like a book the way you want it, okay? Now, you could take one long thread and string it in and out, in and out, in and out, and tie it. Or you could do three or four, depending on your holes, separate. I like doing the separate so then I can add paper when I want to, okay? So I'm cutting this like this. Now you can use ribbon, lace, anything you want. Not fishing line, not anything very thin. You can't do that. So you're going to string it here. And here. And then you have it and you tie it. 
garlic up wrapped. see some paper sticking out so I will probably trim after okay I'm not tying this totally I'm not doing all the holes now because I want to add more paper and everything and I want just wanted you to know what to do okay and that is your journal that you're making it's called my art journal and thank you very much